to most teenagers, their parents are very embarrassing. They are just so annoying. And you see some of the teenagers rolling their eyes when you talk to them. They think that they know more than you do. They think that you are you don't you don't get it that their friends understand them better than you do. You hear all sorts of different things from teenagers. Hello everyone, welcome back to Ifechi family. Today I want us to talk about raising up teenage children. Mind you, when, when we raised up our teenage children, it was quite um, a number of years ago. Things have moved on since then. Did we make some mistakes? Of course, yes. Have we learned from those mistakes? Yes. We have to learn from our mistakes and sometimes we wish that we would take the clock back, but it's not possible. It was even more challenging for people like us that came from different background. The way we are raised up those in, in, from our own culture is so different from what is going on raising our children in, in the diaspora. So I want people to learn from my mistakes as well, because I'm sure any of my sons watching this will say, yes, mom, you did not get most things right, you and dad, because they felt at the time that we are quite heavy handed. We are very strict. All sorts of words can be used. Don't get moved when your teenage children use such words because that's how they feel at the time. Their hormones are running all over the place. Their mates out there are telling them different things and then you come home, you tell them different things. But I think the best thing, the best way to start will be because they have to be children before they get into teenage years is to sit down and discuss these things with them. Parents should be very prayerful generally in raising up their children and especially the difficult time of raising a, a teenager because that's the most difficult time from my experience anyway. When they were babies, it's not no, no such a big deal. When they are you know, going to primary school and everything, it's not too bad. But once they get into that teenage years, they're now in high school, they now have their friends who they listen to sometimes, as I said, then you have to be very, very ready. Treat them as semi-adults at that age. Don't always think that they're still that baby that you had 13, 14, 15, 16 years ago. They are now growing up. It's time for them to sit down and talk and discuss and negotiate with you. Very important. Some of the issues you may have with a teenager is sleep. Their sleep pattern gets a bit disrupted. And especially if you are one of those parents that allows your children to have television in their rooms it becomes a big issue because you don't know what they will be watching and how long they will be awake watching those televisions. That's one of the things we did not do when our children were growing up. They did not have television in their rooms. But now I don't know how it can be controlled because it's not just about television. It's about their uh, mobile phones. It's about their other gadgets. There are so many gadgets now. In those days, there were <laughs> you'd be lucky if you just have a television and then as we as they grew up and, and so on and so forth, then a mobile phone becomes um, more, you know, common. And then they started, we started giving them mobile phone when they were in high school just to make sure that we communicate with them. But um, yeah, things have changed a lot. So I've spoken to parents who are raising up their children now and compared to myself who raised our children, or. Uh, you know, years ago when they were teenagers, things have moved on. So sleep is a problem. They tend not to sleep on time as they used to. Another thing is to understand that their hormone is all over the place, both for male and female. They have their different ways their hormone work at that time. So you have to be prepared for all that. Remember that if we don't shape our children, 
they will be shaped by the society or by outside uh, forces. But because those forces don't even care how those children are shaped. So it's us parents that needs to shape our children, especially our teenage children, because they can be easily led at that age. Another issue you may have with your teenager is laziness. They can be very lazy. You know, they will go to their room, things are on the floor, or they will not sort themselves out, depending on the gender. Sometimes girls are more, <laughs> they look after things and take care of things more. But this is just, what I'm, all I'm saying now is not uniform thing about teenagers. You may experience some of them, you may not. Some teenagers are just so adorable and they will just work with you and help you. Another thing is that if you have your first child, either a male or a female, and then you have more children and that child helps to look after the younger ones, it makes a lot of difference. If they love the younger ones and bring them closer and help you, because you are not always there. Most of the time they are on their own with their siblings. So if you have the first one who is very caring and looks after the younger ones, it, makes, it helps a great deal. It makes your job as a parent a lot easier because you have the older one who is now reasoning with you and helping his, his or her younger ones. It makes a lot of difference. Sometimes teenagers may have a low self-esteem. Low self-esteem, maybe they, they think they're too thin or they're too fat or things like that. That's why you see a lot of people going through um, anorexic, being anorexic, either anorexia and nervosa or bulimia, where they tend to eat too much or tend not to eat at all. So that's when they, their low self-esteem is very important. So talk them through these things is very important and just guide them. If they need to lose some weight, try and introduce various things and advise them and suggest to them. Sometimes it's difficult because they go out there and they buy things for themselves that you don't even know about. So it's important to guide them regarding what they, if they, you think that they're overweight, just guide them so that to boost their self-esteem. As the next uh, issue that you may have with your teenage child is um, peer pressure. There's a lot of peer pressure out there. They want to belong. They want, don't want to do what their friends are doing. They think that their uh, friends know better. So you have to be aware of that. And it's very important that you know your children's friends. Very important. Because you want them to mingle with people of similar values so that they don't, because they can easily influence each other. So maybe they have similar values they can work together without being influenced negatively because they are from the similar uh, uh, family background. So know your teen, uh, children's friends from younger age. And when they get to that teenage years, you know that at least you know their friends, they've been together, they've been friends since primary school and they're now in high school. So you won't be so worried what they're getting up to because at that age they can you know, want to exper experiment on various things. And if care is not taken, they will follow the uh, wrong crowds. That's why when you go out there in some instit institutions, you see young people there. They've abused one thing or the other and it has set them off and they're now behaving and you're wondering, is this actually my child? So no matter how much you try, they may still go the other way. That's why you have to, each time you're bringing them up, you're doing things with them, you keep praying. Praying to God because I've seen parents that have done all that they could and their lovely parents, still their children turn the other way. It can easily happen. So prayer, do them just say, oh, it's not my portion, it's not me, my children. No, pray and at the same time take action by doing what you've got to do as, as, a, as parents. I'm going to stop this video here. There's a lot to be said about teenage, uh, raising up teenage children. Maybe I'll bring, I'll come up from another angle next time. But this is what I want to share with us today to say that, yes, raising up children, um, teenage children can be challenging, but it's doable. And most of them turn out very right and become very responsible adults. Thank you so much for listening. I'll see you again in my next one. Goodbye and God bless.